Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing the um, soft body, and uh, this is going to be really fun. So, uh, yeah, but today we're not going to be doing like the full thing, we're just going to be doing like the basics, just to get those basics over with, and in the next video we'll be doing the really fun stuff. Okay. So the first thing that we should do is set up the variables. So let's say var node pauses equals a uh, a list. In those lists, and in that list, there are going to be lists, and those lists are just going to be x y coordinates. So like, it, oh, and these coordinates are relative to the uh, center point. So we should probably make that two. So var center pause equals, let's make this a 800 by 600 canvas. So I guess the center pause could be 400 by 500? Yeah, okay. So that's good. So if you can imagine this is the canvas and um, it is this is it's relative to this point. So this is zero zero. This little point up here is zero zero. If you can see that. You know, I'll put it on dark mode. Oh nope, I don't want to do that. So I guess I can't put it on dark mode, but you can just see right there is zero zero. And if I like go down, that is adding on to the y and if i go up it is adding it is the the y is decreasing decreasing so basically this is like a coordinate plane and this is the bottom right bottom right portion of it okay so since these let's make like a maybe an octagon i'm, I'm not sure uh uh, so zero fifteen, so or negative fifteen. So if you can think of that, that would be at uh this point. So let's just say this like right here, and it's negative fifteen. So this this is our center point, and it's negative fifteen. So it's like this, like right here. Yeah. So. Then let's make another one, I guess like negative 10 by negative 10. Okay, then maybe negative 15 by zero. And then uh, negative 10 by zero. And then, uh, hmm, wait, I'm thinking. I think, no, no, it shouldn't be negative 10 by 0. It should be negative 10 by 10. And then 0 by 15. This is very hard to think of or think about. So just follow along. And it, I think it will make sense once, I act, once we actually get the shape appearing. Yeah, I think that's correct. We can just check once we finish. But I'm gonna kind of zoom this out because we're not using the can we're not using the game right now. So uh, we're gonna have node pause. We're gonna have node positions and base positions. Oh, let's just change this to base pauses, and th that's gonna be the exact same. So uh, let's change this to 100 because 500 be all, all the way down here. So 100 is like right here. Okay, so now we need to create a couple more variables. And one of them is going to be gravity. It's not really gravity, I just call it gravity because I like calling it gravity. And dampen. And let's just set that equal to 0 0.999. Because we don't want the dampen to be too much. You can change this around. I'm going to say actually 998. This will make sense once we uh, continue. Okay, 
So I'm gonna change this to 225, just to make it fully white. Okay, center, pause, one. So the center position is every time, okay, center pause one plus equals gravity. So that means that every time or every frame, uh, it'll go down. And gravity is equal to zero right now, but that will increase as time goes on, which is going to be later in the script. So uh, now we should actually make our shape. So uh, fill. I found this really cool color. I like it. So 237, 34, and 93. Yeah. Okay, now this is how we make a just a, a random shape because there are functions for making like specific shapes, but there's this is the only function for making a shape that's just a shape, like with points. So we're gonna say we're gonna say begin shape, and then we're gonna say for let i equal zero, i less than node pauses dot length so the amount of no uh little points there are i plus plus okay so we're going to create a vertex uh at the center oh center pause x at the at the uh, center plus node pauses i oh i zero so if we're creating a vert so this is the center point where my mouse is and then this is the um vertex so we're just creating a vertex here because it's relative to the center point not relative to the world because the center point is relative to the world but the node but the node positions aren't they're relative to the center point okay so that is good now center Pause one plus plus node pauses I one. Okay. And at the end, I'm going to make it like a green color so that we know it's like the inside of the shape. So this is R, this is G, this is B. So R, G, B. And 255 is full, so there's no red. It's fully green, and there's no blue. Okay, and now I just have to say end shape, and then there's a uh, then you need to say close if you want the shape to be actually closed. Okay, so let's see what that does, or let's see how it looks. Okay, so I messed up somewhere, so that does not look like a a proper shape. I think this should be. Yeah, right? I'm not going crazy, right? Yeah, that should, I'm, I think that, yeah. Okay, I think I fixed it. Yes, okay, okay. So this is our shape. Now you can understand this is the center point, right? Right where our mouse is. And then these are all the vertexes around it. Okay. Now we can get to the fun stuff. Or the more fun stuff, because that was also fun I guess so now we can say for let I equal zero and this is basically like our uh, our lo our loop for the um, updating the positions of the vertexes and the points I guess I I'm just gonna throughout the video I'm probably gonna call them vertex point or vertexes points and uh, nodes because I'm weird <laughs> and quirky like that. Okay, so uh, eyes listen node. Oh my gosh, why does that always happen to me? Node pauses I zero. Oh wait, what what am I doing? Node pauses dot length. I don't know what I was doing there. So node pauses dot length. I plus plus. Okay. 
So, if center pause plus, or center pause one plus base pauses I one is uh, greater than or equal to 300, because I guess that could be our like ground, I guess. Then node pauses I one equals 300 minus center, oh, center pause one. So basically what this will do is uh, if the point hits the ground, it will kind of squish, I guess. Yeah, it'll kind of squish. And uh, that will make sense once I finish. Uh, so now we're gonna say let D, and this is just gonna be the distance, but you can't say dist because that is a function. So let D equals dist node pauses i zero node pause oh, node pauses i one and then base pauses i zero and then base pauses i one okay that's just going to get the distance between the position and the base position okay and this is where we actually make gravity go down so we're going to say gravity minus equals d or not not go down this is where we make it go back up so that it kind of bounces okay so if this does if it's not less than 300 this is where we or nope why do i keep saying this is where we do the gravity it's not let's just get it over with down here at, at the between these two we say gravity plus equals 0. Oh, 0. 0.01 okay and here we uh in the else statement we can say if gravity is uh, less than zero then gravity times equals dampen okay so this is a lot to take in i know so uh basically what this does is i is it makes it so when the uh when it you know let's just see what happens okay so it oh okay so, obviously, we didn't do something right. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is way too high. Oh, I know. <laughs> what am I saying? This is way too high. It needs to be, like, D divided by, like, 100. <laughs> something like that, because D is way too big. So now it'll, like, bounce, if you saw that. You can like pause the screen or something. You can see it bouncing. Okay, I'm gonna make it go from a higher point. So I'm gonna say a hundred. That's gonna be the, oh, what did I do? Whoa, what? What did I do? Okay. Oh, not a hundred, not a hundred, like five, five hundred. <laughs> I was confused for a second. I forgot what I just explained to you guys at the beginning of the video. See, now it like bounces high or not really because the damp's really high. But if you want to bounce super high, you can change it to like nine, 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 nine. And then it'll just go. Wee! I think it may. Oh, yeah. Okay. I couldn't get up that high. But it just squishes. It looks really nice. Okay, that that sounded weird. Uh, it just looks cool. Yes. You can re you can uh, 
replay the little you, you can replay it at like uh slow speed like 0.25 speed and it looks so cool i recorded that but i don't think i can put a recording on a recording so i'm just gonna record this without putting that recording on this recording because that'll take too much recording to record the recording okay i'm just trying now i'm just trying to use the word record and uh as many times in a sentence that was probably like a very very long run-on sentence but i don't know but uh yeah i'd say that's it for this video that was 15 minute video that was good we got a lot done I'd say personally my favorite settings are 998 because they are pretty much the most realistic. I mean, you could have a really bouncy ball. That that is possible. You could have like a ball that's just one. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. You can have a ball that's just one. Just goes Just goes up to the same point. You can even have a ball that goes higher. So, two. <laughs> Okay, this is not gonna this is not gonna go well. <laughs> wait, where did it go? <laughs> where did it go? Okay, wait, one point one. This is also probably gonna shoot up into the sky. Yeah. That is insane. Zero point zero zero one. Let's see that. Okay, that's fun. I, I'm enjoying this. I'm just going to stick with 0 0.998 because it's the most realistic, though. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video, and bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before you click off of the video, uh, this script will be on GitHub. I'll put the link to the... Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. Yeah. Okay, bye. Actually, no, I am going to link this. I know, it's so weird. I'm going to link it. Okay, bye.